Six days have come to an end since the Sabbath of the first quarter of the moon. And I am here to record the arrival of Yahush. Yahuwah's creation Sabbath of the full moon of the 12th biblical lunar month. Adar, 15th, 6,007. Genesis 2 verses 1 to 3 states that the heavens and the earth were finished and all the hosts of them. And on the sixth day, Yahuwah ended his work which he has done and rested 
on the seventh day. Thus it says, Yahuwah bless the seventh day and hallowed it. So this evening I do want to give Yahuwah Elohim Most High thanks and praise that his holy set apart servants are now recognized by his called out people Israel and those who cleave to Israel. You see, for almost 1800 years, the world has been deceived into thinking that Saturday which are on Rome's Gregorian calendar was Yahuwah's creation Sabbath. But we remain thankful that Yahuwah has now revealed it to us that his Sabbaths is determined by each new moon and the four phases of the moon. So this evening it is my pleasure to make it known to everyone that Saturday nor Sundays are not Yahuwah's creation Sabbath. I am here to make it to known to everyone that Constantine of Rome has removed Yahuwah's Sabbath from the phases of the moon and you can see that Rome have placed most of their pagan festivals and holidays on Yahuwah's creation Sabbaths, which she has have hidden among the working days of the week. I am pleased to see the, moon, the, the full moon this evening bearing witness that Yahuwah set apart Sabbath of the full moon of the 12th biblical month has arrived. In Psalms 81, we are commanded, Israel is commanded to make a joyful shout unto Yahuwah our strength and make a joyful shout unto the father of Jacob. And we are also to blow the trumpet the shofar, the ram's horn, at the new moon, at the time appointed 
We are to blow the shofar in the full moon, the day of the solemn, solemn feast. For it is a statute to Israel and the law to the Elohim of Yaakov. Yes, this evening I have two items or two things on my mind and it is Yahuwah's creation Sabbath which have been polluted forgotten And trampled on the foot, on the feet by man. And I am also here to, and, and I also have on my mind the gross injustice that was meted out to Grandmaster J. Yahuwah, Yahuwah's anointed servant for the unification, the unification of the 12 tribes of Israel. And I have called that we fast and pray that Yahuwah Elohim Most High will intervene in the injustice and the oppression of his people Israel and of their leader, Grand Master Jay. For we have noted that Yahuwah's people who are Hebrew Israelites have been oppressed by the Herods and the Pharaohs from we were enslaved, our ancestors were enslaved in Egypt and also when Yahushua HaMashiach the Messiah was born when Herod was king in Bethlehem Judea both received the same fate Yahushua's parents had to flee to Egypt to, sa to save the life of Yahusha from being killed <clears throat> because Herod believed that he alone should be king and here this king of the Hebrews were born and is now being called the king of the Yardim 
scripture say king of the Jews, but there is no J in the Hebrew language. Yahuwah people are not Jews. Yahuwah people are Yadim. And I was looking into what took place in the time of Queen Esther. Which is really not Esther, but Hadassah. I was looking and I come to find out that the very date or the very month that Grandmaster Jay has been charged and to attend court is the 12th month of Adar. And the only difference is that it will be on your Sabbath, which is at our 15th and Yahuwah's creation calendar. But February 26th on Rome's Gregorian calendar. And I am thinking and imagine to myself what will Yahuwah do when those lying officers and court officers knowingly lied on his servant Grandmaster Jay, his Mose for the deliverance of his people. I would like urge, let drop the charges. Let's yaw, anger, rot, poured out on all lying lips. Yes, I notice. I notice that it is the same month. Could this be designed by the Almighty that his servant should be brought before a, a, a court unjustly? Could it be Yah's purpose to expose a nation for their evil works? I do not really know. But the story is told of an officer of the king ex I can hardly ever call that name, King Exorus, <laughs> who married to Esther, which is which true name is really Hadassah. Hadassah. This plot was for all the Yadim, all the Israelites should be put to death. Because Mordecai, the Hebrew Israelites, would not bow down to Haman like other people. Because Israelites bow down to only the living Elohim, not to, not to other deities. Are our men. 
So it is told that Haman Haman plotted to alienate to destroy all the Yardim and he even paid it says he paid the king thousands of silver in order to have the Israelites the Hebrew Israelites destroyed and I'm gonna read this he says if it pleases the king let it be recorded that there are to be destroyed and I will pay 10,000 talents of silver about 375 tons of silver directly 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 to the king's treasurer to carry out this process so Haman want to carry out the, purp the, the, the purpose the process of slain and destroy Yah's chosen people Israel, Hebrew Israelites just like what is being done today yes just like what is being done today but Yahuwah turned the table and I can't relate the entire story because there is no time there is not enough time but th this Gallus that was made for Mordecai and for the Yardim the Israel Israelites to be destroyed it so happened that Haman himself died on the same gallows and those that are plotting Grandmaster Jay's demise may these, this be the sentence that they fall in their own gallows it says I'm gonna see if I can re read it it says when the king returned well there was a palace and of course Haman was pleading for his life it says when the king returned from the palace garden of the banquet hall he saw Haman fall on the coach where Hadassah was that is what they who they call Esther was reclining then the king said will he also violate the queen while he was while she was while she is with me in the house and as soon as these words were spoken the king by the king they covered they covered him and face then ha, then habara one of the eunuchs says to the king behold the gallows 50 cubits high and 75 feet standing by the house he constructed for Mordecai who saved the king's life the king gave this command hung him on it so they hung him on on the gallows he had constructed for Mordecai and the king un anger subsided so <laughs> like Bob Marley says whosoever diggeth a pit shall fall in it shall fall in it a pit has been digging dug for Grandmaster Jay to silence him so that he cannot proclaim the truth to, to restore your people may the same fate of, of Mordecai 
be upon all the liars and, and, and those who conspire. But what I'm seeing here is this, the very month that this event took place is the very month that Grandmaster Jay will be called up in court to answer to the false charges that has been brought against him. He says, in the 12th moon, the month of Adar, well, it's a moon here, but it's mo it mean month. On the 13th day, the, previ the previously selected time came for the king's command and the de decree to be carried out on the day that the enemies of, y of the Yardim had hoped to overcome them. But all that was but all that was reversed. It was the Yardim themselves who overpowered those who hated them. The Yardim gathered together in their cities throughout all the providence of King Axerus. I can't call that name. The cities throughout the providence of the king to kill those who sought their destruction. No one was successful against them because of the fear that had fallen upon all the people. Also the officials of the providence, the service, the traps, the governors, and all the king's services were supportive of the Yardim. For the fear of Mordecai had fallen upon them. Mordecai was powerful and influential. And the king palace, his renown spread throughout all the providence. And he became more powerful and increasingly prominent. I hope this will be Grandmaster Jay's case. So the Yardim defeated all their enemies and allied, and allied, and allied, and allied, and allied, I can't even call it, and allating them with the stroke of the sword and doing as they pleases to them who hated them. In Susi, the the site the citadel itself, the Yardam killed 500 men. They also killed Parashatana. I can't call these names. Yes, so the, the Yardam, who the, who the slave master Bible called Jews, defeated all their enemies. And this and the Yardim killed five hundred men. And the story goes on. Yes, the king said to the queen to Queen Hadassah, the Yardim have killed five hundred men in Susa, the, the citadel. Have they done in rema in the remain in the remainder? of the king's providence. Now, what is your petition? It shall be given you. And, and your further request, it shall be done. So here was the king telling the queen that whatever she requested would be hers. So instead of Haman, Kill the Yah's people, Yah's people lay them waste. And my prayer is, this is what shall be done unto those who lied upon Grandmaster Jay. Yes, Grandmaster Jay is Yahuwah's servant. Now, 
I'm out of time. But let us remember Yahuwah's Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days we are to labor and to do all our work. But the seventh day that is determined by each new moon is Yah's Sabbath. And let me say that Yah's Sabbath will be on Fridays for four weeks. Begin, it began since, I think, the 19th of February, and it will last until, I think, the 12th of March. Let us remember Yah's Sabbath day to keep it holy. And remember that whatever we sow, we will reap. And I'm saying that those who lied and Grandmaster Jay, may they reap what they sow, and may the sword of Yahuwah be upon them. Have a happy Sabbath. Let us remember that to obey is better than sacrifice and to hearken than the fat of rams. And if we are willing and obedient, Yahuwah says we will eat the good of the land. But if we refuse and rebel, we will be devoured by the sword for the mouth of Yahuwah has spoken it. Yes, it is the Sabbath of the full moon. At our 15, 6007, the very day of Grandmaster J. Court case. Shabbat Shalom. Keep your Sabbath. It is a sign between us, the children of Israel forever throughout all our generations. Exodus 31, 12 to 7. Shabbat Shalom. He to us a sign shall be throughout all eternity. Praise Yahuwah.